hello everyone welcome so today we are going to look at one more counting problem that is combination so what is this combination let's suppose we have a set with n elements in it so what we want to do is we want to choose a subset from this original set and this subset will have exactly k element k elements in it then how many sub such subset we can get or in other words what we wanted to do is that we want to pick a combination of k elements from the original set in how many this can be done right so this is the problem that this is a counting problem that we want to have the solution for it so before how how we can calculate this let me uh, have some notation so this is what we want to calculate what does it mean it means that n choose k we have this set of n elements and we want to choose k we want to choose a subset that will have the exactly k elements in it then how many such subset we will have this is this is what we want to find right so we have given this notation right instead of writing this complete thing we can write in more compact way and this is this is what we want to calculate and what this is denoting is the number of k elements subset of a given n elements set right so how we can calculate this so before calculating this let me ask you a question let's suppose we have this set with n elements and we wanted to construct an ordered sequence of k distinct item from this given n element set in how many way we can do this we can construct this order sequence of k distinct item so this is again a, a problem of the permutation right so we wanted to construct an object with this k distinct element so that means we will have the k stages right and at each stages we will have some choice to make right so let's suppose for this position for this position how many elements do we have or how many choices do we have to make we have an elements here right so we can pick any one of element so we have n choices for this right so n choices for this and since we have picked one element from this now we are left here with n minus 1 element so for this position we will have n minus 1 choices to make so for this we will have n minus one choices to make and similarly for the kth position how many choices we will have to make since we have already picked k minus 1 so before k we have already picked k minus 1 right so we will be left here with n minus k minus 1 right so at this kth position we will left with this much of choices that is nothing but n minus k plus 1 choices right so how many way we can construct an order sequence of k distinct item so what we will do we will simply multiply the choices at each stage right so n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 till n minus k plus 1 and if you observe this is nothing but this is similar to n factorial divided by n minus k factorial so if you observe here in order to construct an order sequence of k distinct element what we have done is we have choose the k item one at a time right so to construct this 
object with the k item is position ke liye we have choose the elements from this set one at a time right for this again we have chosen some elements from this n minus 1 set and for this position we have again chosen a uh, element from n minus 1 whatever we have left here with right and this is the number of object that we can get right now we can do the same problem in different approach what we can do we can first choose the k item and afterwards we can order them right so we can do this the same problem in two stages right and so what we can do we can choose first sorry we can first choose k elements right and how many way we can choose this is what we want to find right so basically what we are doing in order to calculate this what we have done we have found this quantity in two different way and at the end we will be comparing and we will be finding this right so in second up approach what we can do we can choose k element and how many way we can choose we don't know right and this is what how we are denoting it right let's suppose we have chosen k elements from this n element right once we have this k element now what we can do we can order them right and in how many way we can order k elements that is the k factorial now if i ask you that in how many way we can construct an order sequence of k distinct element so we have chosen k elements right and we can order them right and so how many way we we will have this so this times this right so we will have total of first we have chosen the k element and we don't know how many way we can choose and this is what we are denoting as like this and after choosing the k elements we can order them right and this quantity will tell you that number of way you can construct an order sequence of k distinct item and this is similar to this right so we have approached this problem in two different way and at the end we are comparing the, them and from here we we will finding that how many number of k elements subset of a given n element set right and this will be equal to this so at the end we can compare and we can find that number of k elements subset of a given set n element set that will be equal to this n factorial divided by uh, k factorial into n minus k factorial all right we will be doing problems in next video